Hey, man, you finally made it. Long day? Yeah, not too bad, but you know how it is. I can't wait until next week. Oh, uh, yeah? Well, what's next week? I'm going to start working from home. Two days a week. I can't wait to start going to work at PJ's. Oh, hey, congratulations. Though it's not going to be going to work in PJ's if you're at home. You know what I mean. It's not going to be that simple either, right? Huh? I've done the whole work from home thing before. It's not bad, but there's a lot of security stuff too. They're going to want to talk about using the company laptop safely and keeping it separate from non-work stuff. Uh, did they book you for training yet? Well, yeah, I, I think, but I already know about safe web browsing and all that, so it's no big deal. That's where you're wrong. Trust me, there's more to think about than a lot of people realize, like the Wi-Fi. What about the Wi-Fi? Well, what if it goes out? I'll go to the coffee shop, no problem. Okay, pop quiz. You go to the coffee shop and see two Wi-Fi networks listed with identical names. One has a password, one doesn't. Which do you pick? Well, they, they must not have a password on it so the customers can use it, right? Nope. You get hacked, because hackers set up duplicate Wi-Fi networks all the time and fill it full of spyware and keyloggers and stuff. Never use the unsecured network. Okay, okay. Trust me, Jane in sales used what she thought was a bookstore Wi-Fi, ended up losing her passwords to some 16-year-old who used her accounts to buy $1,100 of video game gold. Never use the unsecured network. Dude, watch it, that coffee's hot. If you have to use any kind of public Wi-Fi, even with a password, you need a virtual private network. It tunnels data directly to the company server, so the tech guys will probably put one on the laptop they give you. Jeez, if networks are that bad, I'll just go to the library. They've got computers. Nope. Public computers aren't safe either. People have put keyloggers and other malware on those. <laughs> You're paranoid, dude. Remember Ericsson in marketing? And remember all the trouble he got in last week? Seriously? Yep. What about your antivirus? Got it updated? I think so. Make sure. Antivirus, firewall, software, it's all got to be updated. Keep regular backups so you can restore your system if there's a problem. Oh, and change the password on your Wi-Fi and on your router, too. Routers have passwords? Yep. And most of them are stuff like admin or password. Change it. Pronto. Trust me. I know a couple of people who learn that the hard way and disable remote configuration. What's remote configuration? It's an option that lets someone else change your router settings. Good for maintenance, bad for security. Trust me, disable it. They're not really gonna care about all this stuff, right? I'm just working from home, <laughs> they know it's me. Hackers, corporate espionage. I've seen some stuff, man. You spilled my coffee again.